With the passing of October and <laughs> November, let's review all the Dark Crystal news that happened over those past two Unums on today's episode of the Dark Crystal Conjunction. Well, howdy y'all, welcome to the Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space to nerd out about all things the Dark Crystal. Let's get right into all the updates. Starting off with some of the newest news, beginning this Friday, December 18th, 2020, LimitedRunGames.com will be allowing pre-orders of physical editions of the Dark Crystal Tactics video game for the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, each for $29.99 US dollars. Originally, when the game came out, it was digital only. But more than just owning it on a physical medium, they are also offering a collector's edition for PS4 and Nintendo Switch, each one costing $79.99. It will, quote, include full color interior art and a booklet. This item is limited to only 1,500 copies available. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics Collector's Edition includes the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance physical game, the outer box, full color manual, interior art, premium crystal enamel pin, a sticker sheet with seven stickers, overworld cloth map, adorable fizz gig plush, and a Brandon Litho print." End quote. And all of the above plus more is available in a mega bundle for $364.99, uh, which also comes with other games, and if you want that, all the information will be in the links. Like, I put all the things I talk about in the description, and if you have enough cash to drop for that, and have interest in those other games that come with it, then more power to you. In October, the Jim Henson Company sent out a message saying, quote, Carry your favorite Jim Henson Company design with you. We've partnered with Card.com to launch a collection of prepaid Visa cards, end quote. In the first preview, you can see that one of those Jim Henson properties includes the Dark Crystal's own Skeksil the Chamberlain. A month later, they said that you could also carry Thrawn in your wallet with these other cards, and they showed three other Dark Crystal cards that you can get. So you can either get Skekna the Slave Master, which I don't, there's hardly any merchandise for him, uh, Jen, or Urza the Ritual Garden, which again, not much merchandise for him, although I don't know if this is really considered merch. It's a prepaid card, you know, there's fees and things you gotta deal with that, or you gotta keep up a certain balance before fees come, or it takes starts deducting from it, I don't know. Some of those things aren't the best deal, but if you want that, well, there it is for you. Truffle Shuffle released an exclusive, officially licensed 500-piece jigsaw puzzle that features the movie poster that Richard Amsell did for the 1982 theatrical release. You can get this for £14.99, or that would be US$19.97, and completed the puzzle will be 57.2cm by 42cm, or 22.5 inches by 16.5 inches. This would make a great stocking stuffer for collectors and puzzle fans alike. Icon Design Studio gave us news that they are creating a 12-inch replica of the actual crystal, of the Dark Crystal, saying, quote, Based on the crystal as it is seen in Jim Henson's 1982 masterpiece, this Dark Crystal replica measures 29 centimeters tall while sitting within the ceremonial chamber-themed base, suspended high above by the shaft of air and fire. This translucent dark crystal is removable from the base and has been meticulously crafted with detailed, screen-accurate etchings that tell the history of the Crystal of Truth's storied past. When placed within the light-up display base, the crystal is illuminated, bringing to light its gleaming magenta tones. This officially licensed limited edition The Dark Crystal Collectible is a first of its kind, and an absolute must for fans of the classic film." End quote. This is available for pre-order from Pop Culture, which is based out of Australia. Thus, it is 230 Australian dollars, which would be about 153 US dollars. The current ETA of this is April 2021. Another quick update on the notebooks that we first got a glimpse of in our last video. We got a couple more previews of the Mystic Soft Cover Notebook Illustrated dropping January 19th, 2021 via Inside Editions for $11.99, it's US dollars. Other details are that, quote, this notebook features 240 ruled pages, a ribbon placeholder, and an elastic band. And as you can see up there, there is a kind of a preview of what the inside looks like, a couple pages from that. And we pretty much got the exact same details about the Dark Crystal Bestiary Creature soft cover notebook. Same day it's coming out, same price, so nothing really new to show except another new preview of the inside. 
to give an update on the Broken Tone miniatures, we did learn from their Kickstarter page that they ran into some unexpected delays due to international shipping and COVID. The original ETA was October 2020, but as it is, it looks like it will now be January 2021. Those delays were outside of their control, but they have been very good at communication and have already been showing previews of what the outside cover box is going to look like for the Dark Crystal ones. That looks really cool, and those getting those miniatures and painting them, I can't wait to see what fans do with all those. Even though the comics are currently done, I did forget to mention last time about the collected editions, probably because I focus mainly on the individual issues and I get them when they release, um, but I know a lot of other people collect the collected editions as well, or exclusively, um, and they have many benefits in their own right. You get all the cover art, things like that, interviews, blah blah blah. Well, one thing I hadn't mentioned was that the second story arc in the Age of Resistance series titled Jim Henson The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, The Ballad of Hup and Barfinius, is out in hardcover. It released on October 20th, 2020. And to finish off the series, the third and final arc is the Journey into Mondo La Viaden hardcover, which will release February 16th, 2021. And if these follow suit with all the other Dark Crystal comics by Boom Publisher here, then you're likely going to get a collected edition which contains all three arcs or all 12 issues rolled into one with all the cover art, more interviews, yada yada yada, the same thing they kind of do for all of them. And eventually, a year later, they usually come out with the soft cover as well. But no word on that yet. That's just speculation. But they've consistently done that with all their comic series. So anyways, the Hub Collection is currently available for $24.99, with the other about the newly crowned Al Madrum available for pre-order at the same price. As I've said before, these are excellent prequel comics of the Age of Resistance that I think any fan of the Netflix show will enjoy. Well, here's a cool Dark Crystal nod that I learned from M.L. Bradley in the Facebook Dark Crystal fan group. He says, quote, Jen Hempton and company were key in assisting in bringing Yoda to life when Lucas tapped them to help Stuart Freeborn, using the technology they were developing for the Dark Crystal puppets. So it was nice to read in The Art of the Mandalorian that Jon Favreau invoked Jim and the Dark Crystal when they were designing Baby Yoda slash Grogu. Full circle. End quote. Indeed. As you can see from this picture, that comes from the book art of Star Wars, The Mandalorian Season 1. When discussing the different versions of the child, on version 2 it says, quote, The first one did look almost like a human toddler in makeup. We were just groping around in the dark, and it seemed that Favreau had such a strong negative reaction. Not that he hated it, but he's like, no, I want this thing to look like a Dark Crystal slash Henson style puppet, end quote. Full circle. Just thought that was a cool little tidbit that I just kind of had to share, and so there you go. Lastly, the Dark Crystal community is throwing another Thraw-a-thon this weekend, including myself hosting another trivia contest that will have a grand prize being a copy of Inside the Epic Return to Thraw, signed by Toby Froud. Yes, signed by Toby Froud. So super cool that the Thrawathon guys made that happen. Uh, this is open to US, UK, and EU contestants, so prepare yourselves for trivia based around the original 1982 Dark Crystal film. That will be taking place this Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on this channel. More details are going to come in a future video I'll probably put out in a day or two, surely before the event, uh, but just kind of want to give you a heads up to prepare you. I think that catches us up on the news. I look forward to what we learn in the coming Unum, but did I miss anything? Dream etch it down below or just let me know what you are excited about and let's together continue to nerd out about all things The Dark Crystal. Until next time, keep exploring Thraw.